Welcome to Cowboys Imperial Report, Sooth. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing, young man? Uh, we got a little crisis going every 15 minutes here in Arkansas. My maternal grandfather's uh, under the weather. He's 83. He's been going in and out of the hospital. So uh, my family, we fear the worst. Right. Uh, but on to football. Uh, are do you think the Cowboys Redskins games are as intense as they used to be? Well, <laughs> they're certainly not as they're certainly not as intense as they were back in the seventies. Oh yeah. Uh, That's that's the enthusiasm we expect from the soothsayer. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run through these questions because my dad he's been calling me. The listeners they're hearing the beeps and everything, so I'm sure it has something to do with my grandpa. So let's just run through these questions. Uh, what would it take for a Cowboys win? All right, what would it take for a Cowboys loss? The Cowboys are not going to lose. All right, yes, that's what I like to hear. And especially we know we're not going to lose. Now, maybe if uh, Bill Parcells were the coach, maybe we could uh, sit on a 13-point lead and have the triplets have their uh, Ring of Honor induction spoiled by two Santana Moss touchdowns, but that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, is Joe Gibbs as outdated as Bill Parcells? Well, um, you know, Bill Parcells came in, he swept Washington, he swept Washington, and then Joe, Joe Gibbs came in, he swept Bill Parcells, and then they split. Um, Joe Gibbs actually led his team's to a playoff victory and a Super Bowl championship. Bill Parcells hasn't done that, that, that since 1990. So I would say that Bill Parcells is more outdated than Joe Gibbs. Okay. But, but uh, Joe Gibbs is way more outdated than Wade Phillips. Yes. <laughs> and that's going to be shown. It comes down to who's playing the game. Coaching a better game today than Joe Gibbs has coached since he last inhaled fumes from a NASCAR exhaust pipe. 
<laughs> oh man. Um all right. Uh the link below is where people can go to find that that wonderful story with you and Blue Camp going to FedEx Field in 2000. I'm going to post that on the forums for people to see. The farmers won't care, but it gives me a link for us bloggers to go. And then you will subsequently post it as well. Uh, now, as I was exploring your, your post history, as I do with most other posters when I get bored, I saw that you wrote uh, a letter to the Philadelphia Inquirer after the Eagles 2003 NFC Championship loss. Is that true? Yes, yes I did. Wow. Actually, actually, yes, I did. I wrote a letter to the Philadelphia Inquirer. I told them, you know, that was a hard loss, but one of two things is, will result from it. Either it will make you stronger or it will make you weaker. And I talked to them about making some changes, you know, moving ahead. They ended up signing Terrell Owens, and he took them past the uh, championship and the Super Bowl, but Donovan McNabb was uh, too busy throwing out to uh, find Terrell Owens open in the end zone for a championship, and we all, we all know how that story ended up. Yep. All right. What... Final question. What do you say the final score will be in Texas Stadium this Sunday at about 6.30? 52-0. Whoa! 52? You're not even going to give the Redskins three points? No, I'm not going to give them anything. Wow! 52 to nothing. Uh, All right. Well, thank you for your time, Sue.